Antarctica is the last continent of freedom. It belongs to no one state. International agreements prescribe that it be used exclusively for creative activity in the interests of all of mankind. Antarctica is pure, hard to get to, and enigmatic as art itself. I am presenting the first International Biennale of Contemporary Art in Antarctica. I invite you to board my ship, step onto its deck, and start on our journey. I urge you to set your mind on adventure and join a trip to a new clean coast, the new coast of art. I am organizing an upside down Biennale, a topsy-turvy Biennale, a mobile Biennale in Antarctica near the South Pole. On the decks of our ship, we are building a platform for dialogue between creators, scientists, and artists, and we will turn our southbound boat itself into a machine for art and creativity. Our principles, interdisciplinarity, interculturality, supranationality, the Antarctic Biennale will bring together scientists, leading artists and visionaries from all over the world in order to design a cultural future for the planet. Leading figures of contemporary art are invited to participate. Famous artists, ambitious young authors from different countries are willing to participate in the topsy-turvy Biennale and produce new works right on the journey. Ship Academic Iofe, which regularly cruises the polar waters, will carry the expedition and offer passengers every comfort. The expedition will start from the fireland Ushuaia. The ship will cross the billowy Drake Passage, pass the island of King George, meet the Antarctic coast, and going south, enter picturesque bays and harbors of the Palmer Archipelago. Artists will build their works on the snowbound coast in the presence of their fellow travelers. The journey will continue by crossing the South Pole and then set a course back to Ushuaia. The first supranational pavilion in history, the Antarctic Pavilion, which is the international interface of the Antarctic Biennale, 
was presented at Venice Art Biennale in 2014.